video, I want to show you a low competition product research technique that you could use to go out there and find a product to sell on Amazon today. You could probably even use the product ideas that I actually show you in this video. So I do these videos a lot. I'm all about helping people try and find a way into the Amazon market. And that's what we do here on eBusiness Boss. So if you are new here, hello. My name is Nick and welcome to the eBusiness Boss channel. So if you're interested in these sorts of videos and you find this video useful, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications bell because we drop useful videos like this every single week. Okay, now interesting thing about this video is I've never shown you guys this tool before. And a lot of my videos, as you'll know, if you're a subscriber here, are me using Helium 10 and showing you how we use it within our Amazon business, within our different Amazon businesses to find product opportunity. But I realized the other day, a lot of you might not want to use Helium 10. You might want to use Jungle Scout. So I thought we use Jungle Scout. I like Jungle Scout. And maybe we, we are actually starting to use it more and more. But I just thought, look, maybe you don't want to use Helium 10. Maybe you want to use Jungle Scout. So I'm going to do this video for you. And I'm going to show you a very, very cool tool. Now, as you can see on my screen, I've got the Opportunity Finder open. Now, in this video as well, I'm going to show you how we can start to think about making products different because finding low competition, even medium competition product ideas is really cool, but how are you gonna be able to come into the market and make yourself stand out? I'm gonna help you with that and I'm gonna show you a really, really cool technique that I've never spoken about before to help you qualify uh, some potential twists you could take on a product idea. So if you want to use Jungle Scout, don't pay full price because you don't need to. Go into the description, Go into the comments section and you'll find a link there that will give you an exclusive discount I've secured for you guys. If you do use it, you'll be able to get Jungle Scout uh, for much less than you would usually, uh, but we will make a commission. So it's only fair that I mention that. Okay, so Jungle Scout, the opportunity finder. This is really, really easy to use and I've preset a load of filters to save time today, but I'll just run you through what I've done. So I've selected the United States because we're looking for product opportunities in the United States. A lot of you are from the US, but doesn't matter where you're from, you can change this marketplace, you can use this method that I'm gonna show you, okay? Select the categories you want. Now, as you'll see, I've gone with arts, craft, and sewing, home and kitchen, industrial and scientific, kitchen and dining, office products, patio, lawn and garden, tools and home improvement, okay? So there's some good categories to start with. Now, if you are interested in understanding the types of products and the product categories that I actually avoid as an Amazon seller, that we avoid, check out the video. I'll leave a link to it above. Uh, check out the card there because it talks about which products I would encourage you to avoid if you're thinking about selling on Amazon. So that might explain why I picked these product categories. Anyway, onto the filters. Now, this is important. If you're just starting out, and I know a few of you are in this position, then this is the first filter I want you to think about. And this is the average monthly unit sold. So if you're only starting out with a couple of thousand dollars, you're going to want to look for product opportunities that, you know, are selling maybe around about 100 units a month because you're not going to have maybe the financial firepower or maybe you don't want to invest that much in your first product. So, you know, this way around, you can find a supplier that can maybe supply you with two or 300 units to cover you for, say, two or three months of selling. So by finding products that sell well, but only around 100 units a month, you can get started because well, selling 100 units a month is much better than selling no units a month. So we all have to start somewhere. So you can see I've set this between 112 and 415. Competition, now you might be tempted to set this to very low and a lot of people will and that's why I don't do it because we're interested in not the ideas that absolutely everyone's looking at, which is the really easy, very low competition items that become very, very saturated very quickly. I wanna see some medium ones as well because they're just on the edge of what people are looking at. Average monthly price. So with this method, I would actually encourage you to go $30 and up because if we're only selling 100, now you can do less, but if we're only trying to sell 100 units a month, well, $30 is gonna be enough of a profit margin there. If we work off 30%, we're gonna be making around about $10 profit per item we sell. So. You can see how even 100 a month with a $10 per unit profit starts to add up 
Whereas if we were doing a two, three, four dollar a month, sorry, four dollar per unit sale, then a hundred units doesn't really add up to that much. So that's why uh, we go for the slower selling products that have enough of a profit profit margin. Okay, and that is the whole technique here. That's what we need to start thinking about because you can find opportunity. You really, really can. And um, anyone can get started selling on Amazon. When we started, we were working full time jobs and. Yeah, and if you just said I'd be in this position five years ago, I'd have believed you because I believe in us and, and uh, what we're doing, but I'd have been, you know, surprised, I suppose, because it really, really is possible. So anyway, we'll talk about monthly search volume. You don't need much here because we're not looking for the ridiculously popular search terms and search volume. So just set this, you know, maybe up to 9,000, even less 6,000. You can play around with all of this. Now, Tick this, exclude top brands. You can't exclude all of them, but you can exclude a lot. So I've hit search, and what I want you to do is actually sort this by uh, niche score. So sort this so that we're actually seeing the, you know, th this in the reverse, if you like. So you can actually have this so that you're seeing the very best niche scores here. But I would encourage you, look, th these have got you know, nines, um, the competition is saying very low, but I would actually say reverse it because we want to do things the other way around. We want to look at a lot of the products that a lot of people are missing because that way you're going to be able to find some opportunity. And that's what I want for you. So now I have found a few product opportunities that I want to talk to you about, but this is how I'll do it, just so you know. So this is the first one I've gone with, Beaded Table Runner. And I've just clicked this button here and opened up another tab here, ready to talk to you about that. But this is all you do. You go down and have a look for unique and interesting looking product ideas. So another one here, hanging room divider panels. I've seen a couple of people on YouTube talk about this as a potential product. It doesn't look too bad. At $46 a month average, that's not bad, but not one we've looked into. But you want to have a look and look for product ideas that aren't seasonal. So avoid things like Christmas or very seasonal specific words, Halloween and all those sorts of things. And look for interesting product ideas that you don't think would be causing you huge headaches. Now that might be difficult for you to do if you're just starting out, but an electric shower head, for example. You'll know if you watch the video um, I spoke about earlier, we avoid electrical products, or we did when we were starting out, and we still do now, uh, because there's much more that can go wrong, much more you need in terms of certification and compliance, and it's just not worth it if you're just starting out. So keep having a look and look for ideas that Look unique. There's all sorts of interesting ideas. I mean, sticky floor mat. You know, that might be too generic, but we want unique ideas. We'll keep looking down. Now, the, the others I found already for you. How, how long was I trawling for you guys? I'm not really sure. Let's have a look. Well, the other ones are rustic charger plates and a beer sampler. So they're highlighted as, yes, yeah, so a clear charger plates. This is one here. Yeah. Um, you, you can see the sorts of things I'm looking at. Unique product ideas, and I say that word a lot because it's important, but this is going to be a little bit of sort of manual trawling for you from this point, but you're being given loads of different ideas here, and then it's up to you to go out there and have a look. So what does that next stage look like? Well, if we go back up to the top, uh, because this, this is really, really good, this opportunity finder, it's a really, really cool tool. Beaded Table Runner, this was the first one. And here we are. This is an interesting, product opportunity. So for beaded table runner, there's only 415 results. And we're being told this is an opportunity and I can see that it probably is. Now, a few things to think about with this. So if you don't know what these are, uh, I only know this because my fiance is obsessed with these sorts of things and she loves to put these on the table and make the tables all decorative. I don't really understand myself, but some people do. So that's fine. That's all, all we really care about. And you can see, what we look for straight away is this, the rank at the top. So you can actually eyeball these products with experience and see, okay, I can see there's, there might be some opportunity here. This is selling quite well, 17,000. But to speed things up now, I know we're talking about Jungle Scout in this video, but I'm going to use Helium 10 because you guys will know I use this a lot. And straight away, we're looking for like an even spread of sales. So we don't just want one seller to be soaking it all up because if they are, it usually indicates that they've got a very unique product offering or they're driving external traffic, which as a beginning, we're going to struggle with. But look, you can see here, a load of these are doing quite well. So a review count, the top seller here, 214 reviews, 14,000. The next, well, not the next best, but here, nearly 6,000, 
114 reviews, 11,155 reviews. You can see where I'm going with this. Um, it looks like a very interesting product. There'd be plenty of sales. And yeah, the price isn't bad either. Between 30 and $50. Uh, these are all FBA listings. One of them is Merchant Fulfilled. But there's probably going to be enough profit there for us. So here's an interesting point. You've got this product idea, a beaded table runner, but how do you know what sort of design you should source? Well, use Pinterest, okay? That's what we do. And th this is a very, very simple example, but beaded table runner as a search term, all you would do is put it into Pinterest, like I have, and you're given a load of results. Now, you are looking for results that seem to be pinned quite a lot. Now, the further they are towards the top, usually the most popular, the more popular, sorry, they are. And so we are getting some Christmas themes because we're in November. So you want to avoid those. We're not looking for seasonal designs, but this is interesting. This is a nice design, I think. It's right near the top, but we're looking for any common trends. So any a design type that looks popular. And we're gonna to have to take into account the seasonal side of things, but here's another one that's very similar to this one at the top. You can see that almost golden see-through design uh, looks quite popular. So use Pinterest, again, this is similar. Use Pinterest to see what people are actually pinning and what the target market, who are the people that actually buy these things, are taking most inspiration from on Pinterest. So the higher it is in the search, the more types of typical designs you see, the more popular it is with the type of people that buy these products. I hope that made sense. So we would then just look for a supplier and maybe go for a design. You know, this is quite a nice light color. This golden color is quite nice, but we'd look for something. And again, what we could do is trawl through the page and have a look to see which, which looked to be having quite a bit of success. So yeah, I mean, this is very, very simple. This is a simple design. It's ranking really low. It's got a low price, so maybe that wouldn't be for us. And yeah, we've, we've got a load of interesting ideas here, but it's probably going to be a case of us digging around and looking for the types of designs that we could take inspiration from. But Amazon is telling us what's doing well. So right at the top of the page, you've got this strange sort of design. This design is doing really, really well. So if you can take what you can see here, blend this with what you find on Pinterest and come up with a a nice looking design. Uh, I'm sure you could find a, a sort of table runner that looks more attractive than these and they're doing pretty well. Uh, as you can see, this one is one of the best sellers, $40. So you can see where I'm going with that. So onto the next product idea, which was rustic charger plates. So beaded table runners for me is a go. And one other thing I would mention is if we click on, on one of the example listings, have a look at their images, could you better them? Yeah, these look pretty basic to me, but also have a look at the actual history. So look over the course of the last year, and this is a keeper graph that I'm looking at. You could look all time. So when this is in stock, it's got a solid blue line, okay? So when there's gaps, it means either one of the variations or one of the main variations is out of stock because they sell a number of these. But what, what we basically want is over the course of a year, we want this pink line to be low and quite consistent. So yeah, this is certainly encouraging from July onwards. We've had little, when the pink line breaks up like this, it's because they're out of stock. But the love of this pink line is the more sales there are on offer. So this will help you build an idea of this product seasonal, okay? Moving on, so charger plates, this was another idea. And the, the same thing. So what we're gonna do here, we've got rustic charger plates. That was the search term. And again, we could go on to here, rustic charger plates on Twitter and see what people like. Okay, see if you can find any inspiration for types of charger plates you could do. So straight away, this, because my, my other half shows me these sorts of things all the time. These are inspired by copper, wedding style rustic charger plates. So straight away, could we potentially bring out a copper look, a copper looking, maybe even a copper, charger plates. I mean, copper is going to be very expensive, but you could certainly go for that colour. And if it's being pinned on Pinterest, which, look, this is very high up, it's certainly something that's probably worth investigating, okay? There's quite a few of these styles, these colours, sort of rose gold. You're getting inspiration for your product offering, okay? So again, we can have a quick look using Helium 10, 
and see what the numbers are looking like here. And yeah, okay, so there's one brand that looks to be dominating a lot of it, and that's this one, Tiger, Tiger Chef. Uh, they're doing much more, but there are others. So Tiger Chef, yeah, they're FBA. Uh, what else have we got? Merchant Fulfilled, they're doing 20,000, 18,000, that's Amazon, 21,000. So you can see there is some opportunity here. Okay, yep, yeah, look this one here, they're doing over 7,000 a month and they've got 166 reviews. So yeah, these are these wooden styles, okay? So you can get a feel for the sorts of charger plates that are doing well. And I'm pretty sure that by using Pinterest, you could come up with a very, very interesting product idea. So looking at the best seller, it's this one here. Let's see. So. Why are they so popular? This is what I'd be asking myself. So one thing to think about, they've got a load of quantity variations. So they've probably been selling this for a while. They've got a few different color selections. So yeah, this competitor, we wouldn't want to put ourselves against this competitor directly. We wouldn't want to base all of our research on this competitor because they've got a number of different variations that we might not bring out as a starter Amazon seller. So yeah, this is interesting though because this has got the antique vibe. And this is what I'm saying, you can, find an idea like rustic charger plates and then find your twist and that's what's going to set you up for the future okay if you do that you will be ahead of 95 percent of people that start selling on amazon the next idea was a beer sampler tray and again these look quite simple uh, you're not having to sell with glasses i wouldn't ever imagine well this one is for tasting glasses so yeah, a lot of these actually have glasses with them, which obviously makes sense. But although this is a simple product idea and a good one for us to look at, I would actually avoid this one because these are going to be very, very fragile. And if you're importing these and they're going to have to travel a long way, I don't want you putting all of your hard earned money into a product that might break in transit. And it's just going to be very, very complicated for you. So yeah, avoid fragile products, but you get the idea. Again, we could go onto Pinterest and look for beer sampler tray. I, could, I should have written tray, but we can find inspiration. Look at the most common types and look here, you've got one that's actually a piece of wood. That's a very, very unique idea and one that might not be being done on this page. I mean, I can't see it so far. That's an idea in itself. So you can see where I'm going with this. I really, really hope you found this useful. I've actually gone on for a little bit longer than I wanted to. If you're interested in taking things to the next level, in the description below, I'll leave a link to our product research training course, which is, I mean, it's got so much training in there. Uh, over the shoulder training, you watch us pick low competition, high profit products time after time, and it could save you a lot of time, especially if you're starting out. So if you want access to that, go into the description, click the link, and Hopefully I'll see you on the inside in that training. Other than that, guys, we're at the end of today's video. If you've got any questions, please ask away in the comments section below and there'll be more useful content coming from us very soon. Thanks for watching.